I am 48 years old, and last year I was diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment and dementia. This is my path too. We all think of senior citizens or people at their late stage, but do you think of those people that maybe were abused or in a car accident that have brain trauma? Or do you think of those people that maybe was in their family and now it's being hereditary going down the line and they have to go to their children just like I do and say, hey, you need to get your brain together. You need to do brain health stuff. You need to eat right. What's good for your heart is good for your brain because I don't want this to happen to you. But what I did was I looked at my wife and I broke down. I said, well, that's it. No more for me because that's what everybody told me. They said, hey, sorry, sorry about your disease. There's nothing we can do for you. I do not. Those of you that know me, I do not like those words at all. Nobody tells Tony no. Okay? So this disease picked on the wrong family. After my wife let me cry for about a day, she said, now what are you going to do about it? And she's right. Everything you guys are doing here today is doing something about it. The money you've raised, the awareness you've raised, brought us to this place now where there actually is new medicine called lisinumab. How many of you have heard about lisinumab on the Today Show? If you haven't, Google it. Find out about it. Because you guys are part of the solution in finding a cure for this disease. Is it the answer? No. But little by little, we're all going to learn to live in a brain-healthy world. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah.